this video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple route combination out of the gun bunch that most people are kind of sleeping on this year. And something that's been actually really underrated out of bunch for a long time. Now, this is the bunch trail play. We're going to run it a little bit differently than most people run it. And you're going to find a lot of, I, I just think, a lot of freedom with this setup. And you're going to be able to attack the defense in a variety of different ways. Now, you can find the bunch trail play out of several different playbooks i'm in the seattle bunch right now i still think that the seattle bunch or the washington bunch are the two best bunch formation or bunch playbooks and i've got offensive ebooks on both of those in my patreon membership in addition to that we also break down kind of general bunch concepts that apply formation to formation and just walk you through some of the best setups in the bunch uh if you want to check out my bunch offensive ebook the link is in the description you can join my patreon for just 10 bucks and they'll get you access to everything that we have um, over there, including, like I said, the couple of ebooks we've put out so far this season on the bunch. Now, I want to talk about this bunch trail post and why it is so crucial to have if you are a bunch player this year. Um, and the reason why is because you'll see here, I'm going to go ahead and just jump into a cover three defense. And all I want you to look at here is my post route on the left side so you see here's the post route now if i was to audible to clear out for example and put the guy on a hot route master post you'll see here this is what it looks like if you notice a difference the bunch trail post is a little bit deeper of a post concept than the other one is the reason this is important is our setup here we're going to put our running back on an in route and then we're going to put our tight end on a flat that's all of the setup we're going to do you can also feel free to block your tight end if you want to smart route your corner or re-corner him you certainly can do that as well but what you'll notice with this against cover three is this post will continue to run so that he passes that third defender and has a chance for a user catch um, against that in particular adjustment now another reason why this is such an important concept is because this is a great the best defense for this concept just flat the tight end and put the running back on an in route the best defense for this route combo is actually cover two but the problem is the deep skinny post um, is going to give us an advantage against the cover two defense so i'm gonna go down here and just kind of set up a cover two uh cover two defense here and again this gives us the ability to be able to double flat be able to drop a lot of underneath coverage to stop these drag routes and then what you're going to see is that the skinny post over the top if they're in this defense now as soon as he passes that inside deep half you're going to have a one play touchdown um, against cover two coverage so they can't really run cover two coverage against you with any degree of success now i want to talk about the cover three for just a second here and what this will do is if they have a middle third safety all you need to do is just wait on the post to kind of pass his face and it's going to be an aggressive catch option over the middle of the field now another thing that you can do with this with this post is you can smart route the route so if i smart route the bunch trail post you'll see here my first read got my mesh over here in the middle of the field and then i have this post that's going to run and run and run and that's one of the reasons why i like it so much again it just gives us that option to be able to have something um, against a cover three defense now let's say that they are in a double mabel coverage defense something that looks kind of like this this is where these underneath routes come in handy and this is one of the main reasons why i really like this bunch trail to seattle is you're going to get this like mesh route from the circle receiver he's going to come across if it's zone he's going to kind of settle up and you can just throw it as a nice little check down over the middle of the field and it's really good for the double mabel again i'm going to show you another double mabel setup here this is just to give you a little bit more of an example let's say that they go with the post you'll see here that this little this little in route there's nothing in the middle of the field to guard it and so as you can see it's able to get easy separation um, against this against this formation so this is one of my favorite plays in the bunch formation now this is really 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 good against man coverage so if they run man coverage you'll notice here they're going to get a nice little natural pick and rub the running back route almost always will beat man to man coverage and i'll show you that again so if i'm going to go to man this running back in route is really good um, 
before getting separation against man to man. You'll see here he's just going to come down. And then your mesh route will now turn into kind of a nice little man beating drag route coming across the middle of the field. And so this is really giving us nice little routes that we can use against man and zone to be able to easily beat the, beat the defense. So again, here you'll see this in route to the running back, and then you've got this nice little drag to circle, and that drag to circle almost always will beat man. We're not actually dragging him. He's on this little mesh route where he's gonna settle up in zone, and then against man to man, he is going to, um, he's gonna be you know in the area. So another thing that we have is we have this uh, post route over the middle of the field. If they don't have a safety that is over the middle, you'll see that this bunch trail post almost always will get separation, at least for a potential aggressive catch as you saw right there. 99% of the time though, that is going to be able to get open against man to man. And I'll show you what we can do, you know, if they are able to cover this in man, but you'll see right here, typically speaking, this post just pass lay them inside. If you ever get in trouble, you can always just cut it off and aggressive catch it uh, to be able to get it, you know, to be able to get it off. But then you'll see right here, let me put this safety on the right in the zone just to kind of show what they would do to stop the, the corner route. So the corner out there, and then you have your post, and there you see the separation that he was getting over the top. So I've got my two underneath routes where they're gonna have to drop underneath zones to be able to defend them. So they're gonna have to have like a purple here and a purple here. Now they're gonna have to have a middle third over the middle of the field. And this is where um, these, this is where this corner route becomes really handy. So you'll see this corner route to RB or R1. If they don't have their safety in a outside curl flat, a lot of times he can get separation. Uh, a lot of times he can get some separation for you as well. So let's just kind of imitate like their users in the middle of the field. We're gonna drop these guys into coverage. And again, you're gonna have that post if they don't have a middle third defender. So your, your post can be there. If your post is not there, your double drags. Your double drags, you can actually hit them kind of right in there before they get to the outside coverage, um, as you can see. And then the, the beauty of this is, let's say that they, you know, let's say that they're going to have somebody over the, the deep middle of the field. Well, now, you know, they're only going to be able to put one purple zone on the field. So let's say they put the purple zone over here and they're going to use her in the middle of the field for the drags. Now your corner route to R1 becomes a nice little uh, natural pick, natural rubs. And then you see here, pass it outside. And as you can see, he gets wide open. Now, if you want to put, if you want to re-corner him, the only reason I would suggest re, uh, considering the re-corner of that player is because in my experience, it actually will get a little bit better separation against cover one. So you see here, he's just gonna get a little bit better separation and force him to have to have his own coverage over on that side of the field. So this is a great way to be able to attack the defense and really just kind of easily manipulate man to man. It's also really good against zone because you have a high low on the right and then you have this post back break, back breaker route over here and then you've got this drag that can kind of get open against any zone in the game thanks for watching the video if you want to learn the rest of the gun bunch offense make sure that you join our patreon the link is in the description that's where you can get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks including our couple different uh, versions of the bunch offense